Today I'm wondering what it takes to get government to take urgent action on women's safety. Right now we have one woman being killed every four days. Yet yesterday at National Cabinet, state leaders and the Prime Minister elected to go away and think about it for the next three months before taking any substantive action. The 900 odd million dollars that was allocated yesterday was already on the books. It will merely extend an existing program to help women leave violent relationships. The thing is that there was no additional funding for frontline services and no additional funding for housing. So if you give those women $5,000, which is not much, what support do they get and where do they actually go? Did you know that last night in Melbourne, just one organisation, Safe Steps, had to put 200 people into motels because of lack of available housing? Did you know that every week in Australia, a thousand women are turned away from women's legal services because of lack of capacity? That's 52,000 women a year. So if it takes state and federal leaders roughly 12 weeks, before they come back with some ideas about what to do. That's potentially 12,000 women turned away from help and at the current rate of killing, 22 more women dead. We need to look at what's working and what isn't. Reset our focus to successful programs. We need to look at the justice system and where women are slipping through the cracks and how perpetrators are using the system against women. We also need to look at longer term strategies and I applaud the government's move on toxic misogyny and online pornography, also gambling and alcohol and how they intersect with family violence. And then there's the bigger cultural project, educating our boys and men. And if we're really serious about this, we have to throw money at consent and responsible relationships programs in schools. There is no single answer to this issue, but I will say this, waiting another three months, six months, nine months, a year to do something about what we already know, which is that we are in the middle of a national emergency is not the right move. This is the moment and we cannot let go of it.